Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. This is Anton, and today I'll show you how to use digital signals in an Arduino. In the last video, I taught you the basic parts of any Arduino code by writing a simple sketch that didn't need any external components. It was quite boring, but necessary. But don't worry, it's gonna be different this time. Today, we're writing a sketch that will turn on an external LED every time a button is pressed. In case you need it, the bill of materials will be down in the description as well as a Dropbox link with a circuit diagram and the sketch used. So let's start off with what you'll need. An Arduino board, a USB cable to connect it to the computer, a breadboard to make solderless connections, some jumper wires, a small LED, a button, and two resistors around 200 ohms. If you've got everything, let's start making all the connections. First. Connect the Arduino's 5V pin to the breadboard's positive line and the Arduino's ground pin to the breadboard's negative line. Then insert an LED to the breadboard, connect its shorter side to digital pin 11 using a wire, and connect its longer side to the breadboard's negative line using a resistor. Then insert a button to the breadboard, connect one of its pins to the positive line in the breadboard using a wire, and its opposite pin to the breadboard's negative line using a resistor. Finally, connect that same pin of the button to the Arduino's digital pin 8 using a wire. That wasn't hard, right? Now, we need to make a sketch that will make this circuit work. So go ahead and open the sketch I provided in the Dropbox link. So let's analyze how this code will work. First, three variables are set. LED pin with a value of 11, button pin with a value of 8, and button state with a value of 0. In the setup function, we use the function pin mode to set LED pin as an output and button pin as an input. Then we use serial begin function and set it to 9600 to initiate the serial monitor. Think of this as a window in the computer where the Arduino can display or read information from. This is useful to see values in real time or send a command to the Arduino. You'll see how this will work in a minute. In the loop function, we first establish that button state is equal to the digital read of button pin. Digital read is a function that reads the digital value of a pin, which should first be set as an input. Remember digital signals may only be high or low, which in binary means ones or zeros. So the value stored in that variable, in this case button state, will be one of those. To read a digital signal, you first type in the function digital write and then inside the parenthesis the pin that will be read. To display the value in the serial monitor, we'll use the function serial.println and in the parentheses we type the variable we want displayed, in this case button state. Now to actually make the circuit work, we're going to use a simple condition in the form of if this then that, if else then that other thing. In this function, if will start the function, then in parentheses we type the condition. Next we set what will happen if the condition is met, and finally we set what happens if the condition is not met by using the function else. This section would read something like this. If button state is equal to high, then set LED pin to high, else set LED pin to low. To set LED pin to high or low, we use the function digital write, which as the name implies, it sends a digital signal to a specific pin. In other words, it enables us to set the voltage of a certain pin to high or low. To do this, we type the function digital write, and inside the parentheses, we first type the pin we want to send the signal to, a comma, and then the value we want the signal to have, which can only be high or low. But enough of the code and the theory. Now let's test our circuit. Connect the Arduino to your computer using the USB cable and upload the sketch. The LED on the breadboard should be off, but watch how it turns on every time you press the button. Now remember that through the code we displayed the value of the button state in the serial monitor. To view it, while everything keeps running, go to the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, and select Serial Monitor. The serial monitor window should pop up and many many serials will be displayed, which mean low. Go ahead and press the button. 
you'll notice that as the LED lights up, the serial monitor will display a value of 1, which means high. And once you release the button, it goes back to a 0. Well, but how is all this working? It is actually very simple. One end of the button is connected to the Arduino's 5 volt pin, and the other end to digital pin 8, whose value is going to be read by the Arduino. When you push the button, the circuit is closed and pin 8 receives a high voltage. And we specified in the code that when this happens, pin 11 should receive a high voltage, which is where the LED is connected. Once the button is released, the circuit is open once again, so pin 8 receives no voltage, and therefore the Arduino sets pin 11 back to low voltage, turning the LED back off. Well guys, those are the very basics about using digital signals in an Arduino. Amazon links to all the components used are down in the description, as well as other great resources to get you started with Arduino. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please go crazy on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.